Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to our lecturer Dr. Masura and to our fellow friends. We are from group 1. We'll present about the investment and the saving. So my name is Nurul Imma Binti Ahmad Shidi and my metric number is 264392. Now I will explain about the introduction for saving and investment. So what is investment? Investment is asset that we create in order to make our money to grow. So there are two ways to make an investment. So firstly, we can invest our money uh, which is our asset. If we invest in the saleable asset, we can gain our income by way of the profit from the investment and next the second one is uh, that investment can increase our income if our investment is made in a return generating plan then we will gain that income by returning the accumulation of grain next we move to the saving so what is saving Saving is the portion of the income that we not spend in the current expenditure. Saving also is the benefit of saving up for the future purchases, delay and impulse purchases and also it helps to decide whether it is something you need or it is just a waste money that we will get after we buying or doing something else. So, the saving also mostly keep in the form of cash or equivalent such as bank deposit. Next, Next we're going to discuss about the differences between the investment and saving. For the first characteristic are the risk. The risk for the saving are relatively low and for the investment, the possibility of losing some or all of your investment in the capital why in the saving the risk are low because uh, your money are safer in the bank account if you find in a reputable bank compared to the investment the risk of losing money in safe are quite minimal but for the investment the investment risk varies depending on the investment channel it depends on, on how on how or on what company you invest to if you make uh, a good study for the for the your for your investment it might be good for your oil and for your money too next for the second characteristic is the return. The return for the saving are relatively low because um, most of the bank they have their own interest for uh, the saving, but not as much as as the condition for the investment. They uh, maybe for every banks are. Uh, differ about one or two percent with uh, some condition for the for saving so now that's why the return for the saving are uh, low but for the investment the return uh, the potential to get the high also and lower from your investment also you also might get because it depends on also depends on the the type of investment that you made and type of uh, organization that you invest but in the long term the investing may produce the significantly better returns than saving for the third characteristic is the period the period for the saving are usually short from one to three years but for the investment, the the period are long that usually takes about five years above. For the last characteristic are the accessibility. The accessibility for the saving is when you can com 
complete control your money but for the investment it based on the type of investment that you make um, this is because the money saving come can come in head full when you are in pitch you have a complete control and you also can take a portion of your saving or entire amount uh, as you want but for the investing um, the ability to assess your money is determined by by the by the type of investment of you made because you can redeem your asset in open and equity equity which will fund at any time. Next, we're going to move to the current issue for investment. According to the Bank Negara Malaysia, the economy, which increased 0.7% in first quarter of 2020, was initially a halt in April and expected to face a severe recession in the second quarter. However, the economic growth in forecast is to increase in the second half of the year with a further acceleration forecast in 2021. Joe Suiki, Chief Investment Officer at TA Investment Management says, Fund Manager are focusing on two crucial terms, which is recovery and the new normal. He also mentioned that tourism-related stock, which were directly and severely harmed by COVID-19, have a lot of room recovery in a recovery space. These stocks are included with the Malaysia Airport Holding Berhad, and Asia Group Berhad and Genting Malaysia Berhad who operation were effectively halt for the nearly a calendar quarter. According to the Department of Statistics in Malaysia, Malaysia International Investment Position in quarter 1 of 2021 are up from RM67.5 billion to RM106.5 billion in the previous quarter with the total financial asset rising to RM2020.1 billion and the total liability falling to RM1913.7 billion. As you can see in the next figure, even before the outbreak of COVID-19, the level of investment in Malaysia during the year was still at negative level. After almost one year of facing this pandemic, the, inv the investor can set up an effective strategy so that there is an increase in Malaysia international investment position up to 2.2%. That makes for the business news with Kate Moody. Good evening, Kate. Hi, Delano. You're starting out with an important element of the economic crisis brought on by the coronavirus pandemic, and that's the rise in poverty. Yeah, extreme poverty as well, uh, which is set to rise in, for the first time in over two decades this year as the coronavirus pandemic pushes millions of families into economic difficulty. A new report from the World Bank confirms previous estimates uh, that around 100 million people will be pushed into poverty across the globe this year and 150 million people in extreme poverty by the end of 2021. That's about 9% of the world's population. More than 8 in 10 of the newly poor live in middle-income countries. Now, extreme poverty is defined as surviving on less than $1.90 cents per day. But there are other measures too. Uh, nearly a quarter of the world's population lives on less than $3.20 and more than 40% on $5.50. Well, we can speak now to the lead author of that report. Carolina sanchez Paramo is the World Bank's Global Director on Poverty. Uh, thanks for joining us from Washington. Who are these newly poor who are being affected by the pandemic? Hi everyone, I'm Go Jesse and my matches number is 261603. So now I'm going to present the issue of the saving. I think all of you are familiar with the terms pandemic. The outbreak of the pandemic brings a lot of impact to the people, especially the health of the people, and it can spread the disease across the country. In the end, the, uh, the disease will become the global public health emergency in the world. After SARS, now we are forced to face the public health issue again after 17 years. The name of the public health emergency now is called COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic has spread to many countries and regions around the world in nearly a year and is affecting almost 7 billion people. As I mentioned just now, 
the outbreak of the pandemic brings many uh, impact on the people, especially it can affect their health. So um, many countries has implemented the lockdown to prevent the spread of the COVID-19. And of course, this action effectively protects the health of the people because everyone is stay at home. But it has caused a negative effect also. So one of the negative effects is a lot of people are facing the financial problem during the lockdown. So there is a report from the World Bank that stated that the COVID-19 caused more and more people to plug into the extreme property and uh, that the amount of the property was estimated from 88 million to 150 million by 2021. Our country also implemented the lockdown since a lot of COVID-19 cases found in our country. And the name of the lockdown is called Movement Control Order MCO. I will not explain what MCO is because I'm very sure that all of you is very, very familiar with the term of MCO. And the implement of the MCO in our country makes a lot of people facing fire or wage catch because their company may uh, have to suspend the operations. When there is no income or the reduction of the income, the people will start to use their saving. So we can see the picture in our left hand side. This is the survey from the uh, Department of Statistics Malaysia in last year. This survey is called Effect of COVID-19 on Economy and Individual. There are 1,600,000 people involved in this special survey and most of the people say that uh, they are not financially prepared if the MCO will to be extended. And I will briefly uh, this picture. In this picture, at the financial impact, there are 52.6 of respondents say that they are uh, most affected when it comes to financial saving. At the same time, there are 6.2% uh, percent of respondents say that if the NCO is extended, their financial saving will be least affected. At the saving readiness duration, the survey found that there are 71.4% of self-employed saving can be last one month and 82.7% of private uh, employees say that uh, they have enough saving for two months and 77.2% is for the employer. The length of an employee's tenure will also affect their saving. Um, but this didn't show at the picture so I will uh, make some uh, briefly. Among them, there are 69.7 of the respondents who have worked for less than a year say that their saving may only last uh, for less than one month. So next, just now I say that uh, some people being fired means that there are unemployed. So based on Azim Awam, the senior fellows of MTEM at the webinar say that uh, over 60% of employees uh, in Malaysia cannot afford more than a week's living expenses with their saving. And they, are, they also cannot raise uh, 1,000 ringgit. So in the summary, if there is a long-term MCO coupled with the fact that Malaysia do not have enough emergency saving, then the citizen will fall into financial difficulties. Therefore, we need to find a solution to deal with the saving issue. That's all from me. Okay, next we move to the part of solution saving. Okay, on saving, uh, people should make an early saving this is because when we make an early saving we have a chances to get a bigger return uh, when using the compounded interest and this also will give us a larger balance to
to earn the future on, leading to even bigger returns. And we are also essentially earning the interest on interest, which is we can earn the interest on our original and following investment contribution plus on all the interest that has built all the time or uh, built up over the time okay so next uh to solve the issue about the saving there are some calculation that to that we can use to prove about the compounded interest of saving okay we have some example RHP Bank has 2.85% of annual rate of return compounded yearly and we assume that uh, it will have a same contribution for 20 years old. So assume that Ahmad can deposit his money about 10,000 per year for 20 years old. Okay, now we can use a uh, calculation um, using the compounded interest formula which is F equal to A find A find F given A and I percent and N or we can also use a formula A one plus I N negative one over I okay now after we use the formula formula of saving which is compounded interest formula it we can have the uh, the future value which is rm264641 so at the end of the year 20 his saving earn of return can be around rm264641 Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Hasrina Binti Halim and my matrix number is 264129. Okay, I would like to continue about the solution for investment issues. Based on the issue that uh, stated before, we know that the investment is very crucial to ensure that we are able to meet our life goal and protect our financial future by recessing our investment portfolio. Which is, uh, we kita menilai semula a portfolio pelaburan due to COVID-19 we are faced the narrowness of money so the best way is uh, investor has been make wise choice to invest their money to to the unit trust the investment in a unit trust can be differs until the finance uh, the financial returns recover new investment uh, can be restarted on financial position are more stable this is one the advantage for advice, uh, for investment uh, in the pandemic era so in malaysia there are various uh, unit trusts can be invest in one of the most popular one can be invest in through the major bank including rhb bank so uh, rhb bank have a smart account that uh, account that award all uh, award us for making investing uh, transaction they will give us a better return and making it uh, easier to earn more and the uh, investing uh, a minimum of 1000 eligible rhb financial product uh, in the invest category we can earn another one percent interest that will qualify for a total of 3.85 percent uh, interest rate um, per annum investing can provide financial security and protection in an emergency investing is how you take charge of your future it allows you to grow your wealth and also generate an additional income stream inflation is the ongoing rise in the cost of living over time and can impact our financial well-being investing beats inflation if you're looking to grow your wealth over a long term, investing is a good option. It also creates a strong foundation for you and your family. Investing helps you overcome any obstacles or challenges that come your way. It ensures that you will always have enough money for the things you need and the things that are important to you. 
Investing and saving give you freedom to achieve your dreams and goals for the future. Arise to more clearly solve the issue of investment. This is an example for calculation solving. We assume that Ahmad make annual investment for 10,000 ringgit in unit trust at the RHB Smart account for 20 years starting one year from now. If the rate of return is constantly at 3.85% per year. From this situation, we can get A equal to 10,000 ringgit, I equal to 3.85% and we convert to decimal points to be 0.0385. And then the duration N we, um, equals to 20 a year and we want to find the F which is the future return. So we use the compounded interest formula which is F equal A time F A I N. But since the table factor do not include 3.85%, so we use the formula to answer the situation which is A times 1 plus I power of N minus 1 and divide I. From the information given, we calculate and at the end of year 20, uh, his investment earn of return can be around uh, 293,189 ringgit Malaysia. To conclude, all the part of calculation solving issues between saving and investment, we can see there are the different amount between saving and investment. We can see that the amount 10,000 ringgit for deposit each year and the total year is same which is 20 a year for both saving and investment. But the difference is the interest rate. The interest rate for saving is 2.85% while the the interest rate for investment 3.85%. This is because there is uh, an additional 1% interest return if you invest a minimum of the 1000 per year. This is one of the benefit for the investment. So, if Ahmad to saving, he will get a uh, 264,641 ringgit. Well, if uh, Ahmad choose invest, he will get the 293,189 ringgit in the same duration uh, which is the 20 year. Therefore, the return of investment amount will get almost 30,000 ringgit more than serving return amount. It shows that uh, the investment is much is much better to choose compared to serving. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is uh, Aiman Najmi bin Maisa. My metric number is uh, 261-897. Today, I want to present about my part is uh, discuss and justify the solution. So, at the first, what is the compound interest saving? It's that it's the interest you earn on the both uh, your original uh, deposit and on the interest that your money earn. Compound interest allow your saving to grow faster over time. That means uh, the rate uh, it's, uh, which uh, compound interest are accurate depend on the frequency of the component such uh, that the higher the number of component period, the greater the compound interest. So, interest can be compound on any given frequency schedule from uh, continuous to daily to annually. So, uh, as uh, the example, can we take for uh, Lisa spend uh, 10,000 in uh, RHB bank and the rate of uh, annual of the return of RHB bank is 2.85%. Uh, uh, then uh, Lisa uh, saving in uh, two, 20 years and she get a uh, future in RM uh, 264,641 ringgit Malaysia. 
So, uh, this saving is one of the way, it's a way some of the our society have already done it and even many are still only unaware that this saving will give them a very little benefit. So next, uh, we go uh, for the what is the uh, compound interest for investment. So compound interest accelerate the growth of the your saving and investment over time. Conversely, it also expand the debit balance your own over time. So compound interest is described as a uh, interest on interest and it will result in the highest rate of the growth than medium interest which is a measure uh, slowly slowly on the principal amount so uh, compound interest uh, is a uh, calculate not on your initial deposit but uh, on uh, your accumulate uh, value this means that you make uh, additional money in uh, interest on the top of your investment uh, contribution. So, uh, to illustration, okay, we can go to the next slide. So, for example, uh, Elisa is uh, spent a uh, ten thousand ringgit. So, RHB Bank is uh, take a uh, annual rate of the return at three point five eight five percent for uh, twenty years and. Alisa can get in the future 293,108. So, can we look at this uh, formula? And this formula we use to get a solution the future that uh, Alisa get. So, compound interest accelerate the growth on your investment over time. So, this is, I mean, uh, another example. If you were to save a uh, 1000 ringgit and uh, earn a uh, 5% interest after one year uh, you will have a uh, 1050 ringgit so next slide is the comparison between saving and investment like example uh, my friend do is uh, Ahmad so I think Neo Ahmad uh, for example the comparison between saving and investment if Ahmad do investment in a 20 years at the end of the year 20 his investment in of return can be around RM 293,189 if Ahmad do saving in 20 years at the end of the year 20 his saving earn of the return can be around RM 264,000 641 so as we can see that the investment is very more get money and get more get a uh, benefit so for Ahmad uh, investment he can for example uh, for example Ahmad can buy one bungalow and two car spot if Ahmad saving in 20 years he can buy one bungalow and one car so that's making if investment is much better than saving so let invest <clears throat> so we go to the next slide okay the last but not least therefore this a saving and investment if we can see it will help us a little in overcome our financial problem if it allow you to grow an amount of the money faster then with a simple interest because you can reverse return on both the money you invest and the return at the end of the, is a compounding period second point regardless of how you want to invest the most important move is open at least one account and begin at, at in regularly to eat and feel the benefit of the compound interest you will be better off if you start soon rather than late last but not least determine what you want for yourself and your family 
and then make a solid plan to get there. Well, obstacle will invariably pop up along the way. A good plan will be help you deal with them as it arise. So, what are you waiting for? Let investment. So, as the conclusion, we think we read to choose the investment compared to saving. This is because we are doing investment. If we are doing investment to the right company, we have a potential to make our money grow faster compared to we making a saving. Next, we also can have some experience with different investment and the leverage tools which will suit our requirement which is the best. And then, interest invest investment is also when we invest early it is also better because of the compounding benefit on the investment that will help uh, our money to grow more next we should do a saving or make some investment at our early age in order to keep our money safe to minimize the burden of the tax and to help the money grow and also to save our money for the retirement in the future and we also have to be ready if the something something happen something might happen such as this pandemic covid-19 is one of the example that we have we should be ready for our money that's all from us. Thank you.